Welcome once again to this YouTube channel. Today, we are going to look at two cases, pivoting and unpivoting the data. So you have this data here, it is pivoted. We're going to change it from this format to this format right down here. So it has different columns. And why would you want to do this? Sometimes you want to do computations and there's need to first transform it into column format. From these so many number of rows to these four columns. And later on, I'm gonna show you how to convert this from here back to this format. That's what you're gonna be looking at. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe to see more videos like this without wasting time. Let's jump into it. Here we have our data and we are going to unpivot this data. The function we use is the Flanton function. It takes the, the range, this one here, we want to unpivot this. Then I'm going to insert, separate this data with a call. So I will, first of all, I want company, I select it. Next, I want the region, I select it. Then say n percent, comma, like so. Then the next, I want the month. I select the month right here. Comma, n percent. Then lastly, I want the figures, which I select like so. Close my brackets. It gives me this error. Now it is returning multiple values that cannot be displayed in a single cell. So to enable the display of those multiple values, highlight your formula and click Control Shift Enter to enclose it in array formula. So when you do that, you can see our information is displayed. So we have company A, North, January, this one here, then 341. It appears it has got it right. So the next thing we need to separate this data, which is seated into one cell, into the multiple cells. The Google Sheet function that we use for that purpose is the split function. So I go back here, inside here, and say split. What do I want to split? Is what has been returned by the flattened function, comma, the next argument is the delimiter. Delimiter is what is separating my data, which is the comma, and I close, and there you go. So I've managed to unpivot this data, change it into four columns, as you can see here. The next objective is to convert this data from this format to this format. So I'll go to the next sheet here. That's my data. And here I'm gonna use another Google sheet function, which is called the query function. I select my data set here, remove the end reference to allow for more data to be added and I don't come back and change this. Then the next one is a query statement, which is gonna say select. As you, I want in the first column, the company. So I'll say company is column A. Then I want region in column B. So where I say where, because I've included spaces, let me first say where A is not null to remove the spaces. I have one column of headers. And so when I do that, this is what I get. So remember, I've got this and this. Now I need to bring in the month and the amount. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get the sum of D, which is the amount. And when you bring in the sum, you also need to bring in group by, you need to tell this function how to group the data. So you, because I have two columns here, I need to group by A and then by B, like so. 
if I try to group by one column, it gives me an error. I need to also indicate that I'm grouping by the second column and this is what I get. And lastly, what I have to do, I need to pivot my data, pivot by column C, which is the month column. Now, when I do that, you can see my data is unpivoted as you can see right here. So this is what I wanted to show you. If you have challenges with unpivoting and unpivoting data, drop me a question, I will look at it. If you want to, me to look at more examples in this area, please uh, give me your comment and I'll have a look at it. Meanwhile, if you have not subscribed, please subscribe, like the video, share, and see you in the next video. And don't forget to have a great day.